Nigerian Air Force NAF-201, a B-350 aircraft on Sunday crash land in Abuja. Sa reports has gathered that the aircraft departed Namdi Azikiwe International Airport Abuja at 10.33 a.m. with six persons on board, including two crew members. Wow. The play reported engine failure at 10.39 a.m. and crash landed on the final approach path of Abuja runway 22 at 10.48 a.m. Wow. This is unbelievable. Fire services are already at the scene of the accident. All six persons on board were reported to have died. Confirming the incident, Hadi Sirika, Minister of Aviation, said a military aircraft King Air 350 has just crashed short of our Abuja runway after reporting engine failure en route Mina. It appears to be fatal. We should Remain calm and wait for the outcome of investigation by the military while we pray for the departed souls, if any. Mm. Can you imagine? This is some un un unfortunate, very uh, a black Sunday, if you may call it that, like that. Hmm. Well, if you can imagine Nigerians are reacting, some are reacting positively, some are reacting negatively. Someone says, oh yeah, that's uh, good for them. I don't like anything attached to governments in Nigeria, but I will be human enough to type RIP when the head is faulty. What can you, what can the body do? Most of these security personnel know what is right, but are under oath to do the wrong. Our leaders, devil, will punish forever. I don't see any sense in dying for Nigeria in any way. The worst part is their family will be treated like trash. Even repentant Boko Haram family will be regarded, you know, better than them. May their souls rest in peace. May God forgive me. Something is just making me happy reading this news. Like, seriously? Anyways, my prayer goes to our past heroes who were massacred by the Nigeria government during NSAS protests. Continue to rest in power. Let's stop being sentimental here. Let's show some sympathy and commiserate with the bereaved families. This tribalism is not helping us. If care is not taken, you will discover that some of the dead might be indigenous of the southeast and the north. My condolences to the bereaved families. The God that we serve is a consuming fire, is a God that answered by fire. Some trust in their helicopters, other trust in their AK-47, but we trust in the Lord. He said we should fight for him. We shouldn't fight for him, that he will fight for, for fight all our battles. We stand our ground. Hope they are planning. Hope they are planning to go to Olu. <clears throat> but God has stopped them before Eastern Security Network. That is what happens to you when you decide to fight the children of God. Some people are there saying, oh, maybe they were... They were to send them to Olu or they were coming from Olu, this and this and that. You know what has been happening in the southeast for some time now. The old world, we know that the God of heaven rules in the affairs of Igbo people. That is why we call upon him. Elohim is his name. That is why we always endeavor to live our lives according to his dictates. That is why we are not and can never be Muslims. God forbid, we are the Jews, uh, you know. Of course, when the Eastern Security Network or IPOB they hear this, they would, of course, they will, they, they will, they will not even sympathize with them because they have suffered in the hands of these people unjustly, unjustly. And just like somebody said, it, don't, it depends. Only God knows who are the, who the people who were there, you know. And again, you will be surprised. People are always wondering that why is it that these people with the way they are suffering, and when they send them how to go and do any job that they know that even within their conscience, they will not want to do it, but because they have sworn the oath, and they will just want to do that. They will not want to do that, and I don't know. But apart from the ones that are always on the road, they try to intimidate people, those ones, and in the, in the recent, nothing as if maybe they sent them there. Those ones cannot really be pitied, because on their own, they won't act on their own. But when it comes to some kind of a assignment that you just have to go to this place, irrespective of anything, they will obey. They will obey to the last command, but may their soul rest in peace. It's unfortunate. That is uh, that was the plane that visited Olu, send another one and see the outcome, or try and say over your dead body. Body will, uh, uh, Biafra will come and stop the dead in few months. 
when was the last time the jet was maintained nigeria is a disaster may the dead rest in peace those biafrans that are reacting with a laughing emoji should stop please because today isn't on someday somebody and tomorrow is my be on you and also we pray for chuko kike to protect every one of us eh this one is saying chuko kike who is chuko kike eh, this uh, yusuf is talking about a uh, chuko kike like seriously hey <laughs> well exactly look at your mouth thank you for referring us as biafran thank god you know we are biafran so una know about that please like and follow okay ha ah. This your comments should have been referred to Nigeria Army yesterday. They killed innocent people in Olu and rejoice and today is their turn. <laughs> okay. Well, the God that fight for Biafra land is giving them warning and sign to retreat from killing innocent souls. They were heading to Olu. There will be no peace for Nigeria military and Nigeria government until they let Biafra go. Why the air wouldn't reject them when they are busy doing and killing on the innocent Biafrans. God is asleep. He's not asleep. <laughs> okay. People believe that they were sent to Olu. They were on their way going to Olu. Or the ones that were coming from Olu. When you have S-men, Boko Haram and bandits killing and terrorizing people. But chasing Biafra people who are protecting themselves. That is what you get. Only it's... Yeah. Abuja to Mina is 170 kilometers. That is about two hours drive. Bad roads insecurity well thank god for that like seriously the worst is coming this one is a small one the worst is going to happen if they did not let biafrans to go and leave esn alone and go back to their bases because biafra is a spirit and the spirits of biafrans are hypops and hypos they killed we continue to fight them <laughs> but from uh, what we are got, we gather, they say it's going from Mina to whatever. Where is it coming from? But uh, uh, Biafran say hmm, they they've suffered enough, so they just believe that it could be one of the distant that was sent down there. Okay, that the aircraft okay departed in Namdekano Azikiwe Airport, International Airport, about a distant with seven persons or eight persons, uh, six persons on board, including the two crews. Oh my goodness, wow, it's unfortunate. Mm -hmm. Fire services are already there. Oh my god, may the soul of the departed rest in peace. Oh, okay, okay. this is this is this is this is so uh, uh, but it's a black Sunday. Nigeria Air Force, okay, um, which you clash clash crash landed. Okay, uh, departed in Namde Azikiwe International Airport, Abuja, you know. Going to where? <laughs> Legal knows where they are going to, but people believe that they were being sent to Olu. Okay, oh, this is serious. So, guys, let's hear your opinion on this. Thank you.